Okay, as you can see, we are back with another tier list. This is a Marvel Phase 4 and 5 hype chart tier list. The titles that have recently been released and some not so recent, such as the Spider-Man um, 1, have not been put on here. So I'm going to update you as we go along with them. But we're going to get straight into it because I know on these tier lists I waffle way too much with Miss Marvel in B. Now Miss Marvel and Monica Rambeau are set to be in the Captain Marvel 2 which is called The Marvels so that's why it's in B rather than C because I don't really t know too much about Miss Marvel otherwise but yeah B tier. Moon Knight to be honest I don't know what it is. Um, I'm putting it in C rather than D because I trust that Marvel are going to like make it still really really good and interesting it's just it can't really go too high because I don't know much about it. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness however Doctor Strange is one of my favourite characters. I loved the first Doctor Strange movie and yeah there's so 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 much potential with this movie with the multiverse and yeah um, there's also characters such as Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch set to be in it so yeah what more could you want. Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special is A, it's another huge project like the Doctor Strange, the only reason it's not in S is because I'm not a huge fan of Volume 2 of Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think it will be really good, apparently Rocket Raccoon's arc is going to be completed in this movie, so yeah, that will be really good. Armor Wars, the series for Rhodey aka War Machine, he's one of the most entertaining um, characters to see fight, however there's not too much character actually to him so i hope they develop him and i really think they will i think it'll be a fantastic series now captain marvel 2 the marvels um as i've previously spoken on is set to contain miss marvel and monica rambo so this is going to be a a tier i think the captain marvel one was slept on it's maybe like a bit of bit out of time of a movie it would have fit more into like the earlier phases because it was just a normal solo movie that didn't contain anyone like of our other avengers say uh nick fury was in it but yeah um however the second one i think will be really really good especially with like miss marvel and monica rambo that are meant to be in it loki is going to be an s tier loki is one of my favorite characters and it's another one of those like weird ones multiverse different timelines like you're seeing the pattern of what's in S tier here. Yeah, I hope by the end of it, Loki finds himself back in, like, the current main timeline of, like, what we used to, like, say, where Far From Home is, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, like, after Endgame, say. Ironheart. Now, I don't know too much about Ironheart. I just know roughly what it's about. So it's going to go into A. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a series rather than a movie. I trust that Marvel will handle it really well and make it really, really good. So yeah, um, not quite an S, but a definite above B tier and like a top tier in terms of my hype. Now, WandaVision um, did like come out before I got really back into Star Wars, not Star Wars, sorry, Marvel. So if I'm being honest, my hype was probably down at like the C tier. But I think that's a bit harsh on WandaVision, so I want to say if I was a big Marvel fan like I am now at the time that WandaVision was released, it would probably be an A tier, so I'm going to put it there. Now, I am Groot. Groot is not really one of my favourite characters, to be honest. Um, so it's going to go in B. However, like I'm saying for all of these, I do trust that it's going to be really, really good from Marvel. That is why I am hyped to see all of them. Now, the What If, I know for a fact, is animated. So, I know how much I love the Clone Wars and Rebels. But, like, we have to admit that everything that we see animated would probably be better in live action. It's just very, very unrealistic for that to ever happen. So, I'm just saying, like, that gets negative points for me especially due to the animation style I've seen like the Clone Wars animation is a lot better and it makes it much easier to watch but this what if animation doesn't seem great however I'm a huge fan of like theories and just random made up things in your head like I've done fan fictions like what if this happened so yeah a what if series would be incredible now secret invasion I know is all about the scrolls oh uh, scrolls sorry um, I'm wondering where they would fit in, like, where's the invasion going to happen? However, like, the scrolls are very, like, interesting and cool characters because they can literally disguise themselves as anyone. They could have been around, like, this whole time as far as we're away. So, it's going to be another B. Now, we're going to move straight on to Thor, Love and Thunder, and that is going straight into S. 
Thor Ragnarok was so so good and I'm just like so looking forward to what they're going to do with the character of Thor after I wasn't a huge fan of what they did to him in Endgame but I loved him in Ragnarok and Infinity War he's like one of the most powerful characters in Marvel so entertaining to watch in battle and but just as a character, there is so much depth to him. He's been in everything. Jane Foster's also meant to be in this movie, and I do really hope that they turn her character around. Just like they improved Ragnarok from Thor 1 and 2, I think they will improve Jane's character so much from what she was in Thor 1 and 2. So yeah, I'm very, very confident that Thor Love and Thunder will be better than Ragnarok and the best of the four Thor movies. So... I cannot wait to see this. Now, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier was released when I was a huge Marvel fan, and Sam and Bucky are two of my favourite characters before the series and after. I really enjoyed The Winter Soldier. It's like the lower power level heroes, and you see like a proper action movie rather than just like, I don't know, I shoot lightning out of my hammer like Thor, say, or like um, Scarlet Witch. I use dark magic or something like that i do really enjoy like punching each other and stuff like that and we got that in the falcon and the Winter soldier like guns fist fights super soldiers vibranium shields vibranium wings and yeah it was incredible now spider-man no way home is another s um the first two spider-man movies were incredible and yeah i'm sure that the third one will be just as good if not better and yeah tom holland is an incredible actor with all the rumors that are meant to be like coming true in this movie how could you not be hyped for this now the fantastic four is going to be another s this is a huge introduction to the mcu four characters that could be so so crucial to the future of not only the mcu but the avengers um due to like cap and iron man too like of the leaders of the avengers not being there anymore I think the Fantastic Four will be very, very influential to the future of the MCU, and to be honest, I actually quite enjoyed the old Fantastic Four movie when I first seen it before I became like a big Marvel fan, so I do really like the idea of the Fantastic Four. Now, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is going to be another S tier, and you can probably see a pattern here. There's a lot at the top of this list, and that is because I'm like so, so hyped for all the Marvel stuff coming out. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is one of the top tier ones of that because I really, really liked Ant-Man and the Wasp and Ant-Man 1. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is going to be another S tier. Like, come on. Black Panther 1 was just so, so good. And then the character of T'Challa and like all of the Wakandans in everything we've seen is incredible. I'm so like curious as to how they're going to handle like the Black Panther character and T'Challa as a character now that Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman sadly like passed away and they said that they're not going to recast him so I'm really curious to see how they're going to handle that and yeah I think that based off the title and like logic it's going to be about Wakanda a lot um, and hopefully we're going to see who is going to become the Black Panther. I know a lot of people wanted to be Shuri but they'd have to develop her character a lot in this movie before they can give her the title of Black Panther. She definitely shouldn't have it at the start because she does not seem like a warrior, at least yet. Uh, Blade is going to be a C. I don't really know too much about it, so I can't really speak about it too much. I'm sure it's going to be good, um, but yeah. Eternals, don't really know too much about it. I'm sure it's going to be good. She-Hulk, I'm going to put an A. Um... There's a lot of speculation about potentially Thunderbolt Ross becoming Red Hulk, um, like big changes for the character of Bruce Banner's Hulk um, as She-Hulk is introduced, um, which I really hope is the case. I need to see Hulk not like become Professor or stay as Professor Hulk and just be like a background character now. I want to see him become like more powerful than ever whilst also having the most control over like his Hulk side and that like that he ever has. I made a video speaking about it. And yeah, I'm sure She Hulk will be a great character in herself as well. Hawkeye is gonna be an A. Um I do really like Hawkeye as a character. Like he's a main character so that's automatically gets at least a B. Um yeah, I'm sure they're gonna handle him 
passing down the mantle, kind of, of Hawkeye by training um, the girl, I've forgotten her name, so yeah, I'm sure that's going to be great as well. Now, Black Widow, um, the movie that's meant to have released about 17 times by now, that is coming July 9th, I believe. Um, yeah, Natasha Romanoff is one of my favourite characters in the MCU. Um, it's kind of sad that it's like a step back in the timeline as a movie, but I'm sure it will still be absolutely incredible, and yeah. And that is looking like it is a complete tier list, a lot of stuff near the top because I am excited a lot for a lot of these things. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my rankings and let me know like where you'd put them if you do agree or if you do disagree, sorry. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for 2,000 subscribers, let's get to 2.5 as quickly as we can, that is a huge milestone. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and in a bit.